What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to edit your videos. If you are a beginner, I've looked through different software and in my opinion, the one I wanna share with you guys is going to be one called Filmora. And the reason being is because after using a bunch of different software over the years, Filmora is definitely the easiest to use, but it's also still robust and will let you make full YouTube videos with tons of different edits that you wish to add. And it's also very cheap. There is a free trial you can use with the watermark and the full version only costs $60, which is much cheaper than other alternatives such as Camtasia, which costs over $300. Now, I'm also going to be giving away two copies of Filmora and all you have to do to enter is leave a like on the video and comment down below why you want to win a copy but with that being said let's get started so the first thing you have to do is go on filmora.wondershare.com and download the free trial of Filmora. And once you have it downloaded, you can open it up over here. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can edit videos. There is an easy mode, an instant cutter, and an action cam tool. Basically what these do is they allow you to put all your clips together, they add a background song, and then they add a filter. It's not the actual editor. If you wanna use the actual editor, you wanna go into full feature mode, and you wanna make sure you have 16 by nine selected, and then we can enter it. And once it opens up, it will look a little bit intimidating at first, but it's really, really not that bad. So the first thing you have to do is just import your files. So we're going to go over here and click on import media files. And I have three video clips that I want to add. And we're going to open them and it's gonna add the videos. And everything in this software is drag and drop or right click based. So if I wanna add my videos, all I have to do is just click on the plus button and it'll be automatically added to my project or I can just drag them over like so. And if I wanna zoom in, I have to go over here and I can just move the scrub and I can click to select certain points of the video that I want to edit. Now, if you want to make a video shorter or trim it, what you can do is you can also drag it like so but everything else you can do just by right clicking on the video clips. So say for example, this clip of elephants is too long. I can go ahead and split it in the middle by just right clicking and then clicking on split. And then I can click on the clip I wanna delete and click on delete and it will automatically delete and move all of my other clips over. And you can do this with every other aspect as well. So I can also right click on this elephant clip. I can crop it if I want to. I can also mute it, which I'm going to do for all of my clips. And you can also do a bunch of other things. So for example, if you want to crop or zoom into a video clip, all you have to do is right click, click on crop and zoom. And then you can just edit it like so, and it will zoom in. And I want it zoomed in on the elephant and I'm going to click on okay. So as you can see, it's already a lot easier than other softwares because everything is just one click away. Now, one of the cool things about Filmora is the fact that you can add music straight from the software into your video. And there are a lot of songs that you can use without any worries, which saves you a lot of time and money. So for example, I'm going to add the song Drift. And right now it is way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and scrub out. And then I'm going to drag so that the song is going to be the same length as my video and i'm just going to play it to make sure everything is working yes that is perfect now my favorite thing about filmora is not the music but it's actually the text options because there are so many different ways you can add text to your video and as a YouTuber, this can be really convenient and helpful because most people, if they wanna add like a like overlay or an intro or an outro, you have to spend hours in After Effects or Blender to make it. But here you have so many options that are so easy to use. So for example, say I wanna look at this one over here. I can just click on it and it's just going to download really quickly. And then I can actually look at it. So once it's done downloading, you can just double click on it and it'll show up on the left side and you can just play and actually watch it over. Now this one doesn't really fit the wildlife theme of the video I'm making, so I'm going to find another one. And I think this one might look really good. Yeah, I like that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus button to add it to my project. And it's going to add to the text layer. And if I play it right now, 
you can see it show up. And if I want to edit it, I can just right click it and click on edit just like everything else and then add my own titles. So over here, I am going to put the wilderness <laughs> as my title. And then for the bottom title, I'm just going to click on, on it on my screen. And then I am going to put animals and plants. And then if I want to move it, I can just drag it. So everything is very intuitive. Most things you can just move and edit the way you think you, you know, expect them to. And you can click on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on end credits over here so I can add something to the end of my video. And this one, I'm going to double click on and it looks like it suits the video I'm making. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button to add it to my project. I am going to move it down to the end to align it and then I'm going to drag it out so it's a little bit longer. Then I'm going to right click and click on edit. And where it says Jane Doe, I am just going to type in Sai Ovo. But as you can see, it made the text smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and make the Zyovo text bigger and make it bold. And if I wanted to, I could also add a bunch of other text styles by just clicking on them twice like so. But I'm not really a fan of that. So I'm going to keep it at what it is right now. And I am going to click on OK. And you can always go ahead and save your project. Now, there's also different transitions you can add. And these are all pre-made. Now, most of these are very, very like fancy and extra but the one I'm going to use is going to be a fade. So I'm going to click on it to add it to the end of my video so that when it closes, it can fade out like that. And I'm also going to add it to the beginning of the video by just clicking the plus. So right now, as you can see, it just added it in between the clips. If I want to move it, I can just drag it to the front and my video will fade out at the front as well. Now, if you want, you can also add filters to your video. So these are like pre-made I guess settings so you don't have to actually go ahead and color correct anything you can just add whatever filter you want and now we're going to go ahead and look at the different overlays so the overlays are more cinematic effects instead of actually editing the video content it's going to be adding something on top of your video so for example if i click on cinema it's going to be you know adding the bars to make everything look cinematic or you can add a bokeh which is a bunch of different lights so it's just going to download really quickly so now if you double click on it, we can see that it'll add those bokeh lights. But personally, I am not a fan. So I'm just not going to add it. And we can also go into elements, which are just different kinds of text. And these are like the small things that come with the software, which make it really easy because you don't have to go, you know, back and forth between Photoshop and After Effects. Everything's already pre-made in the software. And there's also a split screen option, which I think is really cool. So if you want to add multiple clips at once, for example, and have two screens, I can go ahead and click on the plus button. And then I can just drop in two clips that I want to have a split screen with. So for example, if I want the elephant and the goats together, then I can just do that and click on OK. And it'll add that video as well which I think is pretty cool and it's right here, but we're going to delete that. <laughs> Just showing you guys that the option is actually there. Now, once you're finally done making your video, you can go ahead and click on the export button. We're basically done our video and it's like every other YouTube video, it has layers of video, text, music, as well as other elements, all which we added through Filmora. And once you actually load the export menu, you want to save your video as an MP4. You wanna make sure it's 1080p and you want to just save it to the file location which you think is best. You can also export it to other devices or post it straight to YouTube. We're going to just do the regular export and we're going to click on the export button and everything is going to just quickly export over. But as you can see, that took less than 15 minutes and we already have an amazing video made and we didn't have to do anything extra. So this is why I think this is the best software for beginners if you wanna get into video editing. But that's about it for this video, guys. If you did like it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.